<clears throat> so I'd just like to say before we get started that AR-15s are vastly superior to AKs, just not even close, not even by a mile. Hey everyone, Dylan Schumacher, Citadel Defense, and today we're gonna talk about my AK battle rig. So for this one, I did something a little bit different. Uh, this one, I went with a British style system, and here's what I mean. So here I just have a Gadsden Dynamics battle belt, right? It's just got two rows of molly, uh, plastic buckle up front. If I were to get this belt again, I would probably get the Cobra buckle, not the plastic buckle. I've actually lost this buckle uh, in transport once, so now I make sure it's always clipped in so I don't lose it because it has unthreaded. And then this particular one, uh, the nylon is just so stiff, you can't really tighten it while you're wearing it. You kind of have to set it and then put it on. Minorly annoying, but it is what it is. Uh, then I got some slow profile suspenders from ATS Tactical, and I attached these to the system. Uh, when I did that, I found out that it's very helpful to use a little bit of bungee shock cord there, which you should be able to see that, a little bit of shock cord on the front of these loops um, so that it gives it a little bit of flex. It lets it flex to you a little bit better. So I would recommend that for suspender setups. But the nice part is, is that these suspenders, I can run under plates. So what I will do is I will put this rig on and then I will run slick plates over it. Um, and all of the weight then is carried around your hips. So it's actually a lot lighter uh, and a lot more comfortable for carrying weight than carrying it like on a traditional chest rig where it's gonna be sitting right in front of you. So I like that. I've, I've run this a couple times now and I really like how this rig rides. I can't believe how comfortable it is um, given the amount of weight that it carries. So, I know it's British style, but I did end up putting a holster on here because you gotta have a pistol. Uh, this is just a T-Rex Arms holster for my Glock 19. Uh, and then it has the QLS system on here, which is a fantastic system that I would recommend. Allows me to switch out holsters, which is really nice. Uh, over here I have a cold steel knife. I believe this is the SRK. Now right now I just have this on the belt loop kind of attachment in there. Um, I might eventually take this off and then just tie it with some paracord in here into the molly so it sits a little higher. But I didn't want it to interfere with my pistol draw, um, so that's why it's sitting there right now. It's mostly there for utility. It's not really a quick draw given where it's located. I just kind of stuffed it in there. I usually will carry a liter of water on this rig. So this is more of a field rig um, you know, versus kind of a direct action kind of rig where you're not worried about water and stuff like that. Well, I wanted to carry at least a water, a liter of water on me. So this is a water bottle holder for like an algene or whatever. Uh, I will probably end up putting two liters of water on this rig at some point, but right now I've just got one. I had this huge leftover dump pouch here on the back um, from a different rig that didn't work out. So I ended up putting it back here and I ended up running a dump pouch. In there I just keep a full mag for what's gonna go in the rifle when I pick the rifle up. And then I keep my shooting gloves. That just lives in there. This is just an extra utility pouch. Right now uh, I just carry another tourniquet in there. I wanna have at least two tourniquets on the rig. Up here, I did zip tie in another buckle so that if I ever lose a buckle again, I have a replacement and my whole day of training isn't shot. Coming around to here, so I have two double AK pouches. These are from Tactical Tailor. I would not recommend these pouches, uh, primarily because I bought them to hold three AR mags. That's what they're advertised to be able to do. They can't do that very well. Um, not at all that's in any way usable. So would not recommend them for that. As AK pouches though, they work great. Um, they do have this nice little bungee shock cord here on the side so you can tighten it up. You know, if you were to take a mag out and if you were able to, you can just pull this, tighten that up and that's gonna retain that mag a little bit better uh, for you to carry in there as well. In general, I try to re-index my magazines back into the pouches. The dump pouch is just for utility slash other stuff. I don't want to go to my dump pouch for partial mags. Um, I want to keep all mags with bullets in the actual mag pouches. Going around further, here's my speed reload uh, mag so that if my rifle runs empty, which on an AK, as you know, there's no last round bolt hold open. Um, so you're potentially a little bit more likely to get there, but you don't necessarily know when you're out of bullets. So. Uh, 
you know, having a speed reload mag pouch there is helpful. This is just a taco pouch uh, from High Speed Gear. And then here I just have a double pistol pouch to feed that pistol. Um, and this is from, uh, these are AR-500 armor pouches. I think these are really affordable. They're like 10, 12 bucks. Um, but these are great little pouches. This is just a mishmash of gear that I had lying around that I was gonna use for different things. And I was able to combine it into a successful AK rig. But I will say that the magic with this rig and the magic with the British system is that they run it off suspenders. And running it off suspenders and carrying all of your weight around your hips and not on your chest rig or your plates makes a difference. It makes it a lot more uh, affordable to be able to run. There's not an IFAC on this kit, as you'll notice. That's because I primarily carry my IFAC in my left cargo pocket. Uh, so I don't keep one on this particular rig because when I run it, I run an IFAC in my left cargo pocket. If you haven't tried out the British system, I mean, even if you wanted to run it for an AR or something like that, I would recommend it to you. I really, really like it. I think I'm gonna end up building an AR rig like this. Uh, I could even use this one if I really wanted, but I'll probably end up building an AR specific rig like this because I like being able to carry that weight around my hips, particularly for like field infantry work um, where I, you know, you're gonna be out at a longer time tromping through the woods or whatever. This rig is nice because it allows me to wear plates or not wear plates. I still can retain all of my essential fighting equipment and it rides really nice. And when you're running around and doing stuff, it's just a lot more comfortable running the weight here all on the belt supported by suspenders. I would not recommend running it on the belt with no suspenders, but when you get the suspenders and the belt combo, it rides extremely comfortable. It's the most comfortable rig I've owned. It's the most comfortable way I've run my kit to date. So would highly recommend experimenting with that if you haven't. That's it, that's my AK fighting rig. Do brave deeds and endure.